Oh, there you are, YouTube. With the glare, it's going to be tough, but I want to show off some of our new art that we're hanging on our walls by Nan Lawson. Right there. The Beetlejuice house before it's modernized. There's Lydia, the camera. And I can't see here, but that's Adam and Barbara. Let's see if I can get a better view. Right there. Another piece by her, Alder and Scully. And another new piece by her. So the Beetlejuice one was new. This one is as well. Of are they referring to this as Cinderella's castle? Or just a magical castle in general? Yeah, it's based on Mary Blair's like okay. old Mary Blair's illustrations um, associated with Disney. So uh, also made by Nan Lawson. We just haven't gotten a frame for it yet. But we love it. Really makes the shelf. Do I want to wear this? There. Kind of sturdy. A little bit. Okay. So, just did work today. Went out with the girls a little bit. Um, so they could, you know, get some fresh air, uh, pick some dandelions out in the yard. Nothing major today. We did finish World's Greatest Chili, um, so that was good. Had that for lunch and dinner. We like it that much, but I am sad to say it probably is the last time we eat it until um, the fall. I can't really imagine another, uh, another time during this spring, soon to come summer, that we would want to make chili again. Could happen, because we do love it, but I'm guessing the fall is the next time you'll see it, if I'm still doing this. Uh, but we did watch some movies. Um, Runaway Bride. Um, this was kind of funny, because we have it because it was my wife's, I think. Yeah. I don't think I brought it into the marriage. Pretty sure she did. But anyway, we're watching it, working uh, with it on in the background, and I hear her you know, under her breath talking, and I'm thinking, what is she doing? Is she, like, reading the internet out loud to herself? Oh, no, the girls have been crying a little bit, you know, kind of softly in their sleep. Maybe she's, you know, talking about that or whatever under her breath. And then I realize she's saying the exact same lines that um, Julia, Robert, Julia Roberts is saying, and it's like, wait a second, you really know this movie. You can quote it, like, very well, like obscure quotes um and long uh areas of dialogue too like almost these giant monologues um so that was kind of fun to see and learn uh that she really knows these movies and we've watched it before so maybe i've known before that she really knows this movie and i just forgot it also we watched after runaway bride which is good it's fun it's cute it's a gary marshall movie you know those are, those are nice. Uh, also watched Forces of Nature. I had seen this once before. Uh, my wife brought this one into the marriage. Um, and I saw it with her. And then I wanted to watch it again. Uh, so we watched that today. And it's, uh, it's weird. It's kind of, I don't know. It's, it's trying a lot of things. It, it's very 90s. It's, there's a lot of 90s like music video stuff happening uh, when it comes to the colors that are used. A lot of the um, camera movements. We're getting Dutch angles that move around like this unnecessarily. Uh, we have... I mean, the color is the, is the big thing. Like, in Skull Forces of Nature, they're always talking about weather, so I think, you know, they're trying to display different types of weather or overcast or something throughout the film. So it looks very artificial, or it just looks like that closing time video by Semisonic or Supersonic. I feel like a really bad 80 or 90s person right now because I can't remember their name. Semi. 
Sonic. It just has a very strong music video feel, which, you know, makes it stand out, which I think is cool, but I'm just not sure how good the movie is. I don't know. Sandra Bullock is always very fun. Um, ben Affleck, he's fine in it. The ending is not traditional for this type of movie. I don't think, you know, if, if we were to like tally up all the movies that belong in this genre, it's kind of multi-genre movie, but you know, this sort of romantic comedy movie and it ending the way it does, I would say it's a unique ending, but I don't know if it's a good ending. Maybe it is. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. I don't know. The movie, I'm not saying the movie's good. I'm saying the ending, that was probably the best choice to go with. Maybe. Just because it's different. But it didn't, I don't know. I don't know. I need more than just five minutes after seeing to think about it. I probably don't even need to put that much time into this movie, honestly. In fact, I'm not going to. Um, maybe I will later, but not right now. I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to edit this, then go to bed. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. I will probably see you tomorrow.